This is a contact opening made within the greater curve band. Making a contact opening in the greater curve matrix may seem unusual. It runs contrary to what we traditionally do with a matrix. Let me assure you, it is easy to learn. Master this and composite restorative dentistry becomes much more predictable. Working with this simple practice tool will have you well on your way to making contact openings correctly. Using a standard greater curve band, do not move the band to the left or right as we are accustomed. Instead, set the band straight out from the retainer end. To maximize band loop, place the tails just inside the vise as seen. Simply drop the bottom of the tool into the band loop. Slide the band up past the indented area and tighten. You're ready to go. Use a small egg-shaped fine diamond. The motion is a side-to-side -side sweeping movement and gradually expand the opening to the desired size. Bigger is not necessarily better. A small contact opening will do the trick. Having said that, use this opportunity to learn how to expand the opening from around the periphery. For the previous example, I used a small egg-shaped diamond. You can also use a carbide if you desire. The uh, carbide does not work as well. You will notice that the flutes tend to catch the matrix edges, which cause a sudden flaking. As a result, you do not have the same control as when you use the diamond. You can see this as I make the next two openings using a small egg-shaped carbide. On close examination, you will notice that the transition from the periphery of the opening onto the tooth is imperceptible to the explorer tip. To analyze your ability to make proper openings, remove the band and rotate the practice tool. You will notice that no indentations have been made. Everything is smooth. Please note this tool is made of resin, so the black marks will not appear on natural teeth. <laughs> 